I'm proud of the fact that Jim has lost bets um, of, of, of whether or not, thank you, of whether or not I can, I can hit a mark. So he'll like, you know, he'll be like, go hit that. And, and in my mind, I'm like, there's no way I can. I think he lost and, a and lot of I, money. He lost a lot of money on betting against Zoe. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> One time, time it was, yeah. I think the first time was a hundred bucks. Yeah, it slowly went down <laughs> because you were getting better. And then the second time it was like 50, yeah, ended 50 up bucks, at, yeah. 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 <laughs> a quarter if you can hit it, Zoe. Exactly. <laughs>First time we met was in a hotel bar. In 2006. <laughs> yep, at a hotel yeah. bar. We were both staying at that hotel because mm -hmm. we had been flown in. And Jim, I said to Jim, can I... For the screen I, test, Yeah, right? I'm sorry. I said, yeah. I said to Jim, can I meet the person that you want to play in the theory? Because I'd like to audition with them. I, I think that will help me, you know, get the part. <laughs> yes. but, uh, but it was... Yeah, and then I met Zoe. Talked, I wooed her, charmed her. Found out a bit later that she had no idea what I was saying. She couldn't understand my accent. But look at him. He's like, talked her, wooed her. First of all, he comes down. And I'm like, I'm the one that's like chatty Cathy. And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> and then when he would talk, um, I had no idea. Yeah, it's true. What it's he was with, saying. Because his, act, you know, the Australian accent was an accent that was unfamiliar to me. But also, he spoke really fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then, you know, when, when we both booked the part, um, we were training together, so we found solace in making fun of each other yeah. in, in how, you know, they had put a gym right outside the set. Remember, like, that trailer gym? And they had you working out there. They were trying to get me to work out. They were out. trying yeah, to get you yeah. to work out, and I would come, and I'm like, I'm just going to work out with Sam yeah, and his you were trainer. Really good. I was always finding an excuse <laughs> not to. Or, All yeah. the time. <laughs> I just want to keep my family safe. he gets the quicker he is to reply <laughs> versus like back then it was like you know and I didn't hear from him for like a year and then he would find my email somewhere and then go hey 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 how you doing <laughs> how are you and I could just hear him like he writes like it like he speaks and then um uh, since marrying his wife and, and starting this beautiful family between us we have a football team we have six boys yeah. rambunctious and inquisitive and bossy and wild and crazy so we've got and them together we've gone trick-or-treating together yeah. these and it's um you know and every now and then like I look at him and I'm trying not to cry because I'm a sap I'm a natural sap and so is Sam but we're not gonna say that um <laughs> and we are quite grateful oh I get front row seat that's the how I look yeah. at it I, you know it's not necessarily about the end product I love the process of filmmaking that's yeah. and this is you know it's wild what we do and it's you know, it's groundbreaking what we do, but at the end of the day, we're doing it with each other and, yeah. and pushing each other. And, you know, I get to see many different takes that Zoe puts into the scene. You, you, the end product only has the take that has been chosen, but I get to see many different yeah. versions of it and journeys of it, and I journey with it. And that's always exciting with someone like Zoe because we get to play. A lot. And that's what this process is about, just playing and experimenting and, and pushing it out to its extremes and bringing it back and just searching for truth in imaginary circumstances. Performance capture is a gift. I get to see someone like Sam that um, he brings such such strength to Jake, but there's a there's a level of fragility to to this to this boy, to this man, you know, and, and that's that's quite endearing. It's, we get to have all this beautiful, fantastic journey and we do it under this safety umbrella of James Cameron's playground. I need you with me, and I need you to be strong. Strong heart. My kid's favorite job of mine is dad. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's what my kids think I do. Yeah. yeah. My, when well, they know I do. Yeah. They have an idea, um, but they haven't really connected all these dots, you know? They think do it's kids fun. Know that you, they um, know that you yeah, know they do. Yeah. They do because they're, they're, you know, they're being raised by by two artists, and and my husband, uh, my husband is quite eccentric. <laughs> so um, and, and also and it proud was, of you. So I guess yeah, he's, he's very it proud. And, he's very vocal, yeah. and he's you know, my husband is of the vein That's of cool. like, no, we should, they, they, it should be natural. It should be comfortable to be in our world because what is ripping them away from you, they need to know what it is. 
as opposed to right. she goes out into the void and I just don't know where she is mm -hmm. and it hurts to to not be close to her. So when those questions came up, like, well, where do you go when you're not here with me? This is what I do, you know? And um, however, we do measure the whole fame because fame hits them quicker than the work. You know, because sometimes you're, you're 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 caught, and people take pictures of you, or they ask you for pictures when you're with your children. You so that? these concepts become very confusing to them, mm -hmm. and you na you navigate it. But they asked for the first time, "Can we come to the premiere um, with you?" And um, and I asked him, "Well, can are you ready to watch Avatar, Mom? You know it's too scary. We're not ready. We'll do it when we're ten. I'm like, so at ten, you'll come to the premiere and you'll watch the movie, but you cannot walk." with me if you don't know what mommy's doing. Because I don't want them to have just like an incomplete, um, you know, idea to what we do. And if that introduction is, is the fame part, when people are, you know, taking your picture and flashes and that overstimulation, no, no, they need to know what that's connected to. They're into Legos. Uh, one wants to be a DJ, so he's getting a turntable <laughs> next Sunday for his birthday. Uh, one is golfing, and the other one is, uh, you know, playing the piano, and then like obsessed with music from 1980s, like specifically like 1982, 83. Toto, Hollow Notes, like so specific. That's I good. guess you wonder where I've been. So to see this little young thing like with this old soul, we're That's like, awesome. where did you get that? <laughs> my, my kids are crazy. They're awesome. <laughs> Yeah. I, know. I remember into one of everything. your rocket was into science. They're into everything. It's the, you know, they're still young, so they're they're into everything. Well, when it came to the 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 underwater training, um, my it? kids, yeah, my yeah. kids were a lot, you know, smaller, and so as they began their schooling, you know, to to learn to swim. I do remember that I was much more confident in the water, so I, I kind of like unconsciously passed that confidence down to them, as opposed to introducing my children to the water by fear, because that's the way it was taught to me. It's like, enjoy it, but be careful, be careful. My kids don't have that instinct, so they're kind of half fish, and I owe it to, to Avatar Way of Water.